Years of insufficient rainfall across Kenya, Somalia and Ethiopia have caused the worst drought in 40 years. Aid groups have said that in the worst hit areas, the drought has led to conditions close to famine. Our next report getting you the complete story. Take a look. In the drought-ravished Horn of Africa, four failed rainy seasons have killed millions of livestock, destroyed crops and forced 1.1 million people from their homes in search of food and water. The United Nations World Food Programme has said that the number of people at risk of starvation in the Horn of Africa has increased to 22 million. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, leading to a blockage of grain exports, have caused hunger levels to soar. Climate change is impacting the entire world, and where I stand here in the Horn of Africa is absolutely no different. We're now looking at 20 million people marching to starvation here in the Horn of Africa. In fact, where I stand in Somalia, 7 million people, and that's twice as many as it was just six months ago. Why? Conflict, extremist groups, coupled with the driest season that we have seen in decades. Four or five rainy seasons have just disappeared. And in the past four decades, the driest we've ever seen it in a long, long time. At the beginning of 2022, the United Nations World Food Program had warned that 13 million people across the three countries faced starvation and appealed for donors for aid at a time of great need. However, the war in Ukraine, among other crises, has drawn attention away from the disaster in the Horn of Africa. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has also sent global food and fuel prices soaring, making aid delivery more expensive. Last month, the United States announced $1.2 billion in aid to the Horn of Africa and urged other nations to do more as well. Earlier this summer, the UN and Turkey brokered an agreement, clearing the way for Ukraine to export 22 million tons of corn and other grain stuck in its Black Sea ports since the Russian invasion. The blockage has worsened world food shortages, driven up prices and heightened fears of famine, especially in Africa. However, even with the deal, only a small amount of Ukrainian grain has made it out around 600,000 tons by Turkey's estimate. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.